Hello and welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at the new script installer in the CWP user panel. CWP comes equipped with a handy script installer that helps you quickly install predetermined packages such as WordPress, Drupal, PrestaShop, Joomla, and with the latest update, many others now as well. To access the script installer, simply go to the navigation menu and twirl down the add-ons menu, and then select scripts. Alternatively, from the dashboard, you can scroll down through the icons until you find the add-on section and then select scripts here. And this opens the add-ons module. Longtime users of CWP will recall that previously we could install WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, and PrestaShop quickly and easily using these installer scripts. And we're pleased to announce the expansion of this module to include so many other useful pieces of software. To run any of these installer scripts, simply select the software you want to install and click install. And this opens the software setup page. Here you can select the domain that you want to install the software on, and then choose the installation directory. This directory is relative to the domain path and should not already exist. So for example, if we wanted to install this in an mag directory, we could just leave this as is, but if we want to install in the root directory, we could just delete that, and this will install Magento into the root directory. For this example, we want to install into a separate directory, so we'll title this subdirectory mag. Then we can specify the admin account. Here we can input our admin folder, the admin email for the main user, an admin username, and an admin password. If we don't already have a password, CWP will generate one by clicking this key here to generate a unique secure password. We can modify the settings of this password by selecting encrypted and choosing the length of our password, and the password type, either alphabetical, alphanumeric, or alphanumerics with symbols for the greatest security. And then click the Generate Secure Password key again until we have a password we're satisfied with. If we wish to, we can click this icon here to copy the password to our clipboard. Next, we have some advanced options to set, including the database name, which by default is set to MAG109, the database username, and a database password. And again, we can use CWP's password generator to generate a secure password. When we're happy with our settings, we can click Install. This raises a confirmation window that reviews our installation settings. If we need to change any of these, we can cancel and go back to make our changes, and then click Install again. And once we're happy with our changes, click Continue to install the software. CWP installs the software according to our specifications, and then we see the confirmation dialog letting us know that the installation was successful. From our Installed tab here, we can see a variety of our various installations. To see the Magento installation, we can just expand this window here, and we'll see the Magento installation that we just installed. In addition to that, we can also view our other installations here, and we can see that we've previously installed Joomla, WordPress, and Drupal. If we want to remove any of these installations, we can just expand the installation that we want to remove and then click the delete icon. This raises a confirmation window that asks us if we only want to delete the files or delete the entire installation. And this would delete all of our configurations and preferences. When you're sure you want to continue, click yes. And CWP automatically uninstalls the software and gives you a successful confirmation pop-up. If there are other scripts that you'd like to install, you can just click back to the Scripts tab here, choose the new software that you want to install, and click the Install button. And again, here you can choose the domain that you want to install it on, your installation directory, and you can leave this blank to install in the root, and assign your database name, username, and password. Each software has its own installation requirements, for example, WordPress, in addition to choosing your name and directory, you'll also have to input a site title and description, your admin details, language settings, database info, and select a theme. Another example would be OS Ticket, where you're asked to input your company settings. or WHMCS, which also requires a valid license key. PHPBB, 
also requires a forum name in order to set up your bulletin board. And Suite CRM requires you to input your site name. But otherwise, most of the installation settings are fairly standard throughout the various different softwares, including choosing a domain, setting your directory, inputting your admin, and database information. To view your installed software, you can go back to the Add-ons tab in the navigation menu, twirl down, and select Installed. And this brings you directly to the Installed tab here within the Add-ons module. And here we can see that we have Joomla installed on this domain, WordPress installed on this domain, and Drupal is not currently installed on any domains, so we can go ahead and delete this entry. And that's how to use the new expanded add-ons module in CWP. For more information, please refer to the following links. Thank you for using Control Web Panel.